Hey guys, welcome back to some more FM Challenge Wheel of Fortune and part 6 of our Rise from the Ashes Challenge with Manchester City and today we have the Premier League game against Sunderland so is it part 6? That is the question. Um, we did a part against... was it? We didn't do Burnley did we? We did um, Man United and before that we did Middlesbrough and before that we did Leicester and before that we did Chris Pass. so it's part five in fact I beg your pardon so um yeah as you can see since the last episode against Man United it hasn't gone that well we lost 4-0 to AS Monaco at home then we lost 2-0 to Swansea but bounced back with a 3-0 victory over your club Toby Liverpool 3-0 with Drogba and Hunter Law scoring for us there we then drew 0-0 in the Europa League against Vide Videoten, Videoten and most recently beat Burnley 2-0 in the league with Drogba and Hunt last score and again. So what does that mean for the Premier League table? Well we are currently in 9th position with 19 points and uh, yeah 13 points clear of relegation. I'm quite happy with that after 13 games we're currently looking set to go through in the Champions League which is good. Yeah, everything seems okay at the moment. Um, squad performances, top goal scorer is Klasan Huntla with 7 and then Drogba with 6. But he's retiring in the coming days. This might be the last time you get to see him. He is retiring on the 15th. So we may get a couple more games out of him. Um, we'll get the Sassuolo and then West Brom. And Stoke will be his farewell. So let's have a look at the team for today then. I don't think I've picked it. Hmm. We're going to put Charlie Adam in there and we're going to get rid of Polly out of the squad. That looks good to me. Uh, try and keep it quite consistent um, and hoping to keep the consistency levels up. Um, yeah, Sunland, where are they in the league? They are 11th so and they're having a much better season than they are in real life and they're going to be a threat today especially Jermaine Defoe he has Catamol now Mankio nothing happening there Yanazai Kazri Defoe over the bar Whew. yeah obviously Sunderland was our team for the Sunderland project I mean clues in the name so if you haven't seen that go and check it out we, we had three seasons with Sunderland quite good seasons as well as Yana's eyes just put them 1-0 up. Uh, Tottenham top of the league. Interesting. But yeah, that's that's a poor goal to concede. It looked like it came from an HB on the left. Um Yeah, just poor, to be quite honest with you. It was Defoe and then an HB into the middle and then Yana's eye sticks it in at the far post and it's 1-0 Sunland. And it's Man City. Oh, not a good start for us really not good <sighs> we're down to 10th as it stands Delph very very dangerous say is Drogba now Danaya who plays for Sunderland in real life at the moment Pickford away and Friars forward to Hunt Law and now Drogba Danaya oh Defoe's on the ball this is going to be 2-0 oh what's the car was it Wabi Kazri? That's the one. Wabi Kazri. Oh, he makes it 2 0. That's annoying. Not a good start for us here. Here's Charlie Adam. Now Lombard. Unal. Zuccolini. Friars. Lombards. Denier. Into the middle. Nothing happened. Endong. Now I need to be 3 0. Oh. oh, we are being thumped by Sunland here. Wabi Kazri with his third goal. Oh, second goal of the game. I need to be. Oof, Defoe nearly made a four there. Oh, this is not good. I just want to run out of here now. Hunt Law and Drogba forces a good save. Um. Oh no, nothing happened. I'm just going to turn this off because it's rubbish. 
Zuccolini. Now Adam, Delph, Zuccolini, Lombard, Unal, and Huntlar. That was a chance. That was a big chance. Unal. Oh, oh, come on. This is this is the thing that I'm dealing with at the moment. You know, one game we go and thump Liverpool. The next we get thumped by Sunderland. It just doesn't make any sense at the moment. But I guess it's because the the old guys are still gelling a little bit. Um, here's Fries now Zuccolini. I mean they're not all old. They're either old or untested, I should say. At Premier League level, here's Fries. Nope. Defoe and good save. Well, Sunderland are really piling on the pressure at the moment. Oviedo into the middle and that's away. Here's John O'Shea now. And <laughs> that was just ridiculous what he did there. Um, we're going to make a couple of changes here. Friars has been horrific. Uh, Patrick Roberts can come on for Drogba and we can swap them two around. Berbatov can come on for Huntlar. Yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable match. This so far, you just wouldn't believe that Sunderland oh that's 4 nil. Jermaine Defoe with his ninth of the season Kasri with the the assist and it's 4 nil Sunderland oh dear God help me God help me oof that's a way now Denier end on good tackle by Delphi here's Roberts Defoe. I don't know how to say his name. Zinchenko. Um, Mankio. Roberts. He'll go forward. And that's full time. Our agony is over now. Watford top of the table after 14 games. Interesting. Very, very interesting goings on. Liverpool have bounced back with a 3 1 victory over uh, Swansea. <coughs> Yeah, Wabi Kazri. Let's have a look at his season so far. Well, he scored both his goals and got a couple of assists uh, in that match. So, you know, he hasn't been that good for them this year. But he was there and that was the issue. So, we're going to come back against the beloved Arsenal, I think. Um, or shall we do a double header? We'll do a double header. Two huge matches. And we're probably going to get thumped in both of them. So I'll see you guys for two matches in the next episode. One against Arsenal and one against Chelsea. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Please leave a like down below if you did. You don't have to of course. But enough for me and for the channel. And thank you very much for 800 subscribers by the way. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And yeah. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Yeah.